All right, so in this question, we're asked um, with segment TU that has endpoints at 0, negative 3, and 0, 1, um, select the equation in point slope form for the perpendicular bisector. So I didn't put the multiple choice options. I'm just going to show you how you would find that answer. So we want the perpendicular bisector. So we need a line that is both perpendicular and goes straight through the middle of TU. Now, if we're going to write the equation of a line, we have to have two things. We have to have a point, okay, and we have to have a slope for our line. So let's think about what those would look like. The point, again, it needs to go right through the center of TU, so we want it to go through the midpoint. So that's going to be the point we use to write our equation. The slope, we want it to be perpendicular to TU, so what we're going to do is find the slope of TU and then write down the slope, what the slope would be for a line perpendicular to that. Okay, so let's start at the top. The first thing we're going to do is find the slope of our segment TU. Okay, so we want the slope of a line between 0, negative 3 and 0, 1. So remember slope, you subtract y minus y, so negative 3 minus 1 over x minus x, <clears throat> 0 minus 0. That gives me negative 4 over 0. Well, remember when 0 is in the bottom of a fraction, what would the slope be? The slope is undefined. So that tells me I must have a, a totally vertical line. And if you were to graph that, you would see you are getting just the y-axis. Okay. What's the slope of a line perpendicular to it? Well, usually what we do for slope is we put the opposite sign and flip the fraction. Well, undefined, perpendicular to undefined, which undefined, remember, is a vertical line. What type of line is perpendicular to that? A horizontal line, and horizontal lines have a slope of 0. So that's kind of a special case. Usually we would get a number slope here, and we would be able to find the perpendicular slope by flipping the fraction and changing the sign. Um, <clears throat> but in this case, we got undefined, and it's just easier to memorize. Undefined slope and zero slope, those lines are perpendicular to one another. Okay, so that's going to be the slope of our line is zero. Now let's find the midpoint of the segment so that we have a point to use, and the midpoint is perfect because it goes through the center of the line, which is what the perpendicular bisector needs to do. So now we are finding the midpoint of TU, the midpoint of 0, negative 3. And, okay, so remember for midpoint, we add x1 and x2 and divide by 2 for our x-coordinate, add the y's and divide by 2 for our y-coordinate. Okay, so that would look like 0 plus 0 for our x's divided by 2, and negative 3 plus 1 for our y's divided by 2. Um, this would give us 0 over 2 and negative 2 over 2. Let's simplify. 0 divided by 2 is just 0, and negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1. So now we're going to use that to write the equation for our line. So again, you're going to use the slope of the perpendicular line and the midpoint. So our slope is 0. The point that our line goes through is 0, negative 1. Let's use point slope form, which is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. y and x just stay. The x1 and y1 are the coordinates of our point. Okay, so this is our x1 and our y1, and m is our slope. So we have y minus negative 1 equals 0 times x minus 0. <clears throat> Let's simplify that. That gives me minus a negative is plus. So I end up with y plus 1 equals, and 0 times anything is just 0. So I get y plus 1 equals 0. All right, in this example, they give us a graph of a segment. It says um, segment LM that they show in the picture has endpoints at 4, 0 and negative 2, 3. Select 
the equation. Once again, I'm not going to give you the options. I'm just going to show you how you find the correct answer. Um, we want in point slope form the equation of a line that's the perpendicular bisector of LM. Okay. So again, what we're going to need to find is the midpoint. That's going to be the point we use. And then we're going to need to find the slope of a line perpendicular to this. And those are the two things that we'll use to write our equation in point slope form. The slope of a line perpendicular to the line they gave us and the midpoint of the line they gave us. So let's start by finding the slope of our line. Okay, so again, remember to find slope, you do y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Our points, I'll write down, let's see, x1 and y1, x2 and y2. Okay, so we have 3, that's our y, minus 0, the other y, negative 2, minus 4. 3 minus 0 is 3, and negative 2 minus 4 is negative 6. Let's reduce that. 3, 6 reduces to 1 half, and the negative, we just bring that out front. So the slope of the line they gave us is a slope of negative one-half. You could also count the slope on your graph. It goes down one and two to the right, a slope of negative one-half. That's the other option. Now that we have the slope of the line they gave us, we actually need the slope of a line perpendicular to that. So a line perpendicular, remember, you flip the slope. So instead of one over two, it's two over one. And you use the opposite sign. This was negative, so our slope is going to be positive. So positive 2 over 1, or just 2. That's our slope that we're going to use. Now let's find the point that we're going to use, and that needs to be the midpoint. So this is a bisector. It needs to go right through the middle of that line. Remember the formula for midpoint. You add the x's and divide by 2 to find the x-coordinate. You add the y's and divide by 2 to find the y-coordinate. In this case, that gives us 4 plus negative 2. Those are my x's divided by 2. And for my y's, 0 plus 3 divided by 2. Let's simplify that. 4 plus a negative 2 is 2. 0 plus 3 is 3. If I write this out as simplified as possible, 2 divided by 2 is 1. And let's just leave this as 3 halves. <clears throat> Okay, now we're going to write the slope intercept, or excuse me, write the equation for this line. We use our slope, our perpendicular line slope, that's our m, and our point is that midpoint that we just found, 1 and 3 halves. Okay, so they want it in point slope form. The point slope form of the line is y, y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So again, x1 and y1 are our point, the x and y from our point. x and y are just the letters x and y. They're not going to change. Okay, let's put our information in there. So y minus the y from our point, which was 3 halves, equals m, our slope of 2, times x minus the x from our point, which is 1. We would simplify if there were anything to simplify, but... From here, this is point slope form. The only thing you really can ever simplify is if you have minus a negative. That sometimes can be simplified. But that's it. This would be the equation of our line in point slope form for the perpendicular bisector of LM.